Welcome back everybody to more of the Mage in Enshrouded, and as you can see, I have got a couple of raised garden beds now. Now those are actually all harvestable now. Uh, anyway, got those two going, got the salt, the uh, sugar going. Still not sure what I want to do with this. I was going to do like the same thing here, but then that's, the garden bed is basically going to go past those windows. So, yeah, not really sure about that. I also uh, built some... Some stone walkways here going from entrance to the main house and to the other entrance. So, made a little bit of progress in the house. I'm I'm thinking, you know, about I want to I want to start making this like giving putting um paths around here, connect everything so we're not all just running on grass. Uh, I also um Expanded the flame, so now instead of everything ending right here, it goes out to, uh, where does it go out to? It shows to there. There you go. So it goes to there. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I think, it, I think it's time to upgrade the wall. Pretty much. Yeah. Lots of upgrades in, that I have in mind, but for now, we will settle for the upgrade to... The Silver Storm. So it does 40 damage. Ice and Shock. It's our first Shock um, wand. It's, you know, it doesn't have these extra bonuses because it's only an uncommon. Uh, it does have a fair bit of Shock dam shock damage and Shock magic protection. So that's nice. Does a little bit more damage to that. Um, I'm going to try it against... Uh, the scavengers and stuff and see how it compares to the ice wand. I mean, we're, we're going right back there anyway, so let's actually do that. And it's right there. Go check that out, see, you know, how it does against them and see if it's, if it's good to, if we want to swap that out for the, for the ice wand now or, or what? We'll see. Assuming these guys have respawned, of course they have. Uh, it says it's effective. Yeah. Ish. We're gonna have to carve our way through all these guys again. Where did you come from? This has AOE. You resist that, eh? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that's better than the other one. about that. Yeah, I'm not actually sure which one does more damage. Well, they just like pop out of the ground, eh? Ow! Ow! Attack the dog, please! Gracious. Okay, let's do um, that. Probably do this too. There you go. Lots of health regen. Lots and lots of health regen. Okay. 
Yep, not completely uh, sold on the electric. Maybe it'll be better against other enemies. The dog was resistant, so... Anyway, we are going yeah, to the scavenger arena. right now? No? Ooh, waga waga! It says effective, but I feel like I'm not getting as many crits. Definitely do not. Oh, hello. Definitely don't feel like I'm getting as many crits. Do I want to do ice on you or? Mm, that says effective, but. Crit. Oh, acid. But quite nice. Yeah. Throwing vomit all over me. Hey, like that. Hmm. Ow. Oh, that is burning through. How about ice? Oh, they're all effective on you. Are you stuck in a hole from my bombs? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm really not sure which of these to attack with. Seems like pretty much anything works. Whoa. Okay. They explode after they're down. Gotcha. Oh, that was it. Almanac of seeds and plants and seedlings. Hey, hey. Cool. Oh, was that it? That looks like that's it. Oh, and I still didn't clean it, clear this out. Okay, well, I'll we'll have to do that at the beginning of the next episode or something. Right on. Okay, well, that's that. I mean, we could explore more of this place. There's glowy stuff. A note to Kendall, sister. Have my notes gotten through to you? I've missed you greatly this past year. That vile contractor tried to lock me up in a cellar in Jasper Isles, but you were correct. He couldn't keep me shackled for long. I'm sorry I've been out of touch, but I've been keeping my head down. Umber Hollow isn't any better or worse than Surratt's Rest. Two sides of the same coin, like us. More bar fights, perhaps, but I can handle them. The Nomad Highlands are out are without order. One day we must eclipse this chaos, sister. What do you say? Your sister Lupa. What is the purpose of that room? Lots of 
seating for... Oh, hello. Lots of seating for spectators. And a bunch of people actually died here while spectating. Well, not a bunch. I mean, there were a few people. What is a tumbleweed doing up there? No chests or anything around here? That's sad. This is, um... Oh, this is kind of cool, though. I like this place. The design is... Interesting, to say the least. Okay, so I guess we've basically seen everything there is to see here. I'm gonna, I might leave this here for a little while. Um, meh, maybe not. We do need um, room in our flame altar slots <coughs> to build over where we're going, so. I will go and do drop off of loot and then we'll head back towards the other thing. Oh yeah, we got the um, the almanac. Gotta take that back to Emily. Hey. Got the almanac. My almanac of seed plants and seed seedlings. Uh, wonderful. There's there's a bit of dirt on it, but it's fine. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Let's get to planting. Is there is there like really you you would think that an almanac of plants and seedlings would probably if you're gonna have dirt on anything, it would be that. But do I have to do something with it? Do I have to drop it on like the ground? Uh, do I need to interact with it? Nope. Okay. That's good, then I will just... Plant, uh, drop it right behind her, basically. Excellent. So now, what does that mean? Um, what do we got going here? Sugar cane, we were making sugar cane seedlings? Is that the last thing I was doing? Maybe. Okay, so what can you do now? Chicken soup. Need forest beets? So that's constitution and dexterity. And it's for constitution. Uh, right, we can break down sugar cane into sugar and use that for stamina recharge, like really good stamina recharge. We've got vegetable soup for dexterity. We've got chamomile tea that we're already using. We've got uh, mushroom. Oh, that requires an oven. We make the boiled eggs. Chamomile tea. Vegetable soup. Sugar. And chicken soup. Looks like the chicken soup, actually. Okay, we're going to need salt, peppers, and I need a supply of bird meat, too. And water. We're also going to have to plant forest beets. Okay. There's also four intelligence. That requires the eggs. Well, don't have, like, like, I have to loot the eggs still. It's not like I can just, uh, you know, I have, like, Oh, paper. That's interesting. Um, yeah, it's not like I have uh, chickens or something to like that I can just get eggs from. But anyway, okay. So it looks like we want to do we want to do some forest beets. I definitely need those. Those two raised garden beds are not going to cut it. I need way more, like way more. Um, okay, let's see about the beets. Here, put a beet in there and make me some beet seedlings. Uh, 
There you go. Make one of those. Uh, get rid of that. Um, throw the water in there. Break that down. And then we got scavenger matron head. I guess we could make a thing for that. Still got a bunch of indigo seedlings, okay. And chamomile seedlings, that's good. A bunch of sage leaves, which we can use directly. For greater spirit. Um, flax, do we have? We got flax, but no flax seedlings. Throw that in there. Um... Hmm. Okay, split this. I think. I'm gonna go and get that turning into linen. Looks like the carpenter wants something. Welcome, friends. Sun Temple Stories. Heading to the Kindle Wastes, best be on your guard. My aunt, Auntie Ellen was cursed in one of them sun temples, struck by this ghostly skull from below. She said, teeth, she said, cha teeth chattering. Tis true, well, most likely. You know Ellen, always a, a tale teller, but never a liar. Isn't Emily from around the Kindle Wastes? Maybe she knows, but she'd babble. Do you have anything new? No. Do you have anything to say? No. No. Curses. What do you know about curses? Haunted sun temples? Why, I lived near one. It was awful. See, our temples are hallowed halls and burial sites. Honoring the ancients, the spark there is fed by prayer and shields from our dead. Shields our dead from harm, but as the shroud spread, it's, uh, its light dulled. Maybe our faith wavered when the catacombs came alive. Metal clanks, dark whispers, held my prayers inside the tavern ever since. So spooky. And you don't have anything else new. Okay. Alright, so we're going to... We're definitely going to want more uh, flax. Put that there. This I can maybe... Split half of them in there, and then if you oh, could Rest craft up. me up some sugar, Take care. seems good. Stay high. Got sugar there. Um, I'm trying to decide where I want to store it. Uh, I don't think I need torn cloth. We also have some eggs. I'll throw that in there. Actually, is there anything else that needs to go in there? No. Let's put the bird meat in there, too. I think I'm going to end up using that for the chicken soup. Uh, we also need a bunch of that fossilized bone stuff for, for uh, making the Azur Razula. However you pronounce that. Okay, so we can do sugar cane. I don't have any sugar cane. Um, we should probably wait the 30 seconds. Unfortunately, you can't, as far as I can tell, you can't, um, you can't, um, queue up different things. Like you can you can queue up multiple of the same thing, but not more than one thing. I'm gonna get it to start to make some more sugar cane, I think. There we go. 
take that and make sugar can seedlings. There you go. We can also sleep. Oh, yes. Plant these. Not enough space. We not enough space. Okay. That was weird. I don't think I need more indigo right now. But we need to get get some more bone meal going. We'll have to get some more farm soil at some point. Let's go get water. Also need to improve the lighting out outside here. Yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna have to do it like I'm gonna have to do sections of it in between episodes so that you guys can see it. Otherwise it'll be like I'll be like working on this for several days and then like, alright, massive house um showcase thing. <laughs> Huge showcase episode this time. Alright, you've got that. What did I do with the with the bird meat? Is it in here? Ah. Okay, it is. Yeah, don't let's not grill up any more of that. Um here we can Pop that off, I guess. I'm not actually using this very much. It's only got two intelligence. We we now have better stuff than that. Yeah, that's going it's gonna be going for a while. Oh yeah, I should also get another get a matron uh, matron head set up. I should set up more light for that so you can actually see. Although it's kind of creepy, maybe I should have a separate room for that. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right, let's move on. So we want to head in this direction. Do we want to climb up high? I mean, we can. Oh, oh, that did not work. Unfortunate. I think we're heading in the right direction now. Yeah? Nope, I want to go there. There you go, some bird meat. I mean, I can kill chickens. I'm so inclined. That's down in the... Oh, you know what? If we go here, we might be able to just fly across to the shrine. Maybe. Oh, I need to get some, uh, some stones. Look at them all. Oh, isn't it cute? They're like... They're like just waiting there to die. Okay. 
there's our thing. No, don't don't go that way. I want to go over that way. But I want to follow the road. Oh, hello. Did I miss that? Oh, I wonder if that's where we get the bone from. And peppers. Yeah, I forgot about the peppers. We need to get a bunch of pepper... Um, pepper seedlings going. Uh, I'm too fast. Uh, okay, right, we've been here before. If I climb up there, then what? Oh, hello. Oh, you like... Okay, that worked on you. Using a grenade launcher in close quarters just sounds like a terrible idea. Ooh, Elder Staff, what's that? Uh, it's only a level 16. It's only common. It looks cool. I mean, it's it's actually the same as my staff right now, and my staff is upgraded, but it doesn't have all these bonuses. Eh, yeah, that's too bad. Okay. Chickens, chickens falling to their deaths. Okay, I guess I could have. Um, I guess I could have uh, used my staff to kill several of them. That might be a good idea, actually. Great, if I collect enough bell peppers, I won't have to... If I collect enough bell peppers, I won't need... Uh, I actually don't need that at all. Uh, I won't have to plant... So I won't have to get so many seedlings going. Okay, well that's done. I don't actually see. Ooh. What's good looking? Oh, oh, well. Okay, that was not quite how I planned on getting down here, but sure. Night watch. I only dozed off for a second or two. I swear. I thought my brother would wake me, but no. The foul breath of an outlaw ripped me from my dreams. I woke uh, Matthew, and we dashed out. In our rush, we even dropped the gift and the note that girl wanted us to ship. What now? Ugh, whatever. So what if some creeps roughed us up? So what if we lost the stupid president? 
present. Time to improvise, Matthew said. We'll write our own letter. Nice looking paper, pristine. You won't know, so you see? So, now we just have to sign, but there's an issue. I forgot her stupid name. Rachel? Reagan? If only I didn't drop that cursed letter back in Jasper Isles. I guess that's a lesson to not use stupid people to deliver things for you. <laughs> uh, okay, so what do we got going here? What is this? Jasper Isles? Smith Tools location, possibly? A uh, tanning station? That's probably for our... Our, um... Hunter. Our hunter girl. Well, I mean, I'm... Fairly close to that, so I guess we'll go there. Anything else? Oh, hello. Fine, I admit it. Shortcut through Umber Halls was a bad call, but we had no choice. The laggard Hank snoozed, so we, we'd we be late to trade outpost, bl out, outpost Blazing Rock without some quick thinking, and I lost my gold coin. Can't have that C. Of course, Hank slept through his night watch, resting in Jasper Isles. Stupid, reckless, we lost the goods upon fleeing. No matter. We'll write our own letter. And the gift? Well, Blacksmith won't know it's missing. I'll sign something lovely, get my creative juices flowing. Hank can help. Guy will be none the wiser. Easy, you see? Yeah, it's easy. Super... Ooh. Super easy. Easy, you see? You see? Oh. I forgot that I was heading towards that, um, that skeleton thing. So it's, it's near here. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, we'll have to go and check that out again. Later. I would imagine that's where the bone... Because we haven't come across any actual bone dust or whatever it is. Enemies? To Father, I know we didn't part on good terms, and you know I'm bad with words. When I look at the sky, I recall how you taught me to, get, to glide. Remember how I was so scared to jump to drop down the ledge of the harbor? You were there. You held my hand, guided my strike when I hammered my first iron. Sparks flying, you never wavered. I didn't mean to raise your forge and burn it all. I was angry, livid. I have a mother's temperament, as you always say. Uh, I'm sending new smithing tools. They're good. Really good. I tried them. Right? I'm stalling. Uh, we both know I'm not good at goodbyes. A true... A true Anders at heart, like mother. Rochelle. There we go. Not Rachel. Not Regan. Um... Here? Ow. What? Who? Oh. Oh, you oh, you're not taking much damage. Oh, you're dying from that, though. Ow. Rude. Okay. It's... Where exactly? Over there? It's where exactly? Is it it's not down there? Why am I Struggling to find this. 
also running out of time. Ah, there we go. Nothing tools. Excellent. Now I just have to find a way out of here in the next minute. Mystic gloves. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Where are you, my sister, dearest Lupo? When we got separated, I was beside myself with fear. I searched and searched for what felt like days, only to encounter Rad, Rod, Rod Dalton, uh, a thief from Umber Hollow who said you'd been taken by the contractor. Why is he taking children down into that wretched place? Despite his cruelty, this thief assured me you were still alive, albeit a prisoner. He promised to slip you this note. Sister, I know you well enough to say that you will not remain shackled for long. When do you... When you escape, when you do escape, return home, we shall have our revenge. Kendall. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're in trouble. I'm going to die here, and I'm going to have to come back and get my stuff. Later. Ugh, I can't even climb out of here. Well, leave now. Yeah, I would, if I could. I'm just going to die right here. Alright, well that was unfortunate. I guess we'll go get that in the next episode. Uh, oh no, wait a minute. Just in case that doesn't happen. You know, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what happens to your... Your, um... Not, not quite sure what happens to your grave when you die. I mean, when you load a new game. If I exit now and then... Oops. Um... If I, if I exit now and then come back later, I have no idea what will happen. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to go get it right now and hope I find a way out of there. you have some no in case they had bird meat on them there's another um red Thing, something to read. Did I read this before? Fierce creatures, the horror. Caught in a rainstorm, we were simply searching for a place to stay dry and rest. We heard them scratching and growling around in this cave. They must have smelled us because they attacked unprovoked. One of them ripped Kristoff's uh, head clean off. His body dropped to the ground like a wet sack of grain, and his club slipped out of his hands before he had a chance to use it. The beast was covered in thick, matted fur with huge tusks jutting from its mouth, and when it roared, the sound was so strange and ear-shattering. Vukar! I will be haunted by it for the rest of my days. Okay, are we uh, heading in the general right direction for our thing? It's over there. That is impossible to see through. I'm going to say it was hard to see through. I can't see through it at all. Are we going to make it? Oh, crap. Well. Nope. <laughs> That's not the way to get there.
Great. All right, I'm going to have to do this off camera. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. We'll see you in the next one.